Hello and welcome back to Grow and Glow channel. My name is Pascal. Uh, today I am going to start a small uh, little series of videos for for adults to teach children how to uh, grow things, propagate and sow seeds and things like that. Rather than make a video for children, which there are many, uh, it, it's nice to have the cooperation of the, of the, of the, your parent, the parents with the children and work, uh, do it together in the garden. and. Uh, it's uh, get them away from their cell phone. So the obvious choice I would uh, use for teaching them how to propagate from cuttings would be to do it in water and do it in a, a glass so they can see the roots. Uh, and the obvious choice I would use for, for the plant itself would be uh, basil or basil if you are in Europe, it'll be called basil. Uh, so we will use basil uh, we will, uh, I have many basils here. This is lemon. This one is uh, Genovese, which is sweet uh, basil. And this one is Thai basil. You can also use uh, holy basil as well, uh, Tulsa. But uh, for this one, we're going to do, uh, we're just going to uh, grow three of them. We can put two in each if we like. It's probably a good idea for your child that you will uh, teach them, you will give them uh, more than one chance of it working. What we do is we just take a little cutting off uh, and your children can use the children's scissors and you can show them where to cut it. So I will just cut off just before where the, where the growth is, where the leaves are, like this. And uh, just like this. Now you can cut the top off if this one is maybe trying to go into flower. So I will cut the, uh, I'll cut these middle ones off here, like that, so that it won't grow. And then I will just uh, take off. I will only take off the bottom. There's branches starting to grow on this one now. Uh, this is this is the uh, new branches growing rather than just the leaves. But it will still grow. So I just pull them off gently like that. I don't cut them. Uh, you can if you want. You can do two lengths if you want to, but I usually only do one. But for this one, I'll, because of the amount of water I've in it, I will put two on it. So I will grow it like this and make sure it's just down below it. Try and hold it, get, leave it that the leaves are staying, standing up like that. And that's all you do. Like I'll do the same with this one. I'll pull off that one. And I'm only going to do, I will do two on this as well. You do two on it, uh, you, you have more guarantee, but usually, uh, I find usually that one is enough. So it's very easy. This smells like licorice, so you can smell it in the glass. And the children like that smell. If you know what licorice is, it's like, uh, it's like uh, the French drink called Perno. This is an old plant. I should have brought a smaller one around, but anyway. Uh, no, we'll grow this. It'll still grow. I'll cut the middle off it as well. So I'll do the same here with this, with the sweet. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, also, uh, I'll also cut out the middle, the growing shoot in the middle. That'll prevent, uh, prevent it growing up there. It'll, it'll also help branch off later on. It's kind of bunching in a little bit too much there. Uh, so there's some nice smell off the, off the sweet basil as well. So what we do is we put these inside in the kitchen so that the children can observe them. And when the children can observe them, then you give them the task of every two days to change the water. And you remind them, you can clip the ends of the leaves to make the roots grow quicker. But I'm not going to do that because the children like the, like the, like the leaves up. Just make sure the water is kept above where, where you pulled off the leaves and leave them on the, you can leave them on the worktop if you have room and then uh, remind your children every two days. I will come back to you with these three in a few, in a second and we'll see how our progress was after five days or four or five days. So uh, it's been uh, six days since we put these in. We left them in there in the kitchen uh, on the worktop uh, with, with light and uh, they all have some sort of roots I will show you now. So the reason we put them in the glass for, for, for when you're teaching your children is because they can actually see the roots. So I'm not sure if you can see it on camera there, but uh, the roots are coming out. This is the Genovese sweet basil. And the children will be able to recognize one from the other by smelling them as well. 
and this one has uh, little roots just barely coming out. Okay. So the children will also uh, recognize the different smells like sweet basil, mm. it's got that real fresh smell and the Thai one, it's got that licorice smell and then the lemon smells like lemon actually so yeah it's real very very lemon uh, smell of this lemon one and you see the roots coming out of this you know the 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 Thai one is uh, it has little roots on the very bottom so we're we're getting there I usually go, we can leave it in the last batch I left in the water for two weeks it uh, depends on where you are I suppose as well but these one I could put them in the soil now and they would uh, grow but so I will leave them for another six days, and, or yeah, maybe another six days, and then we will plant them in the soil. And you teach your children uh, to put them into the soil. Uh, make sure to change the water every two days because they're, they're in a glass, so the, the water uh, could get algae or something like that. So it's a good idea to, every two days to change it. And it's good for your children as well. Uh, don't put ice cold water, uh, the, the room temperature water. So they're going fine now, and I'll be back to you in a few minutes. So I left these for uh, two weeks instead of what I meant to do. Uh, I meant to uh, do them after 10 days, but uh, I didn't have time to do the video for you. Uh, they came out really, really well. Uh, big, big uh, roots on them. Look at the roots on this. And, and they'll smell this one, and it smells like lemon. And this one smells like licorice, the Thai one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to finish up the video. We're going to put them into pots. Uh, you will show your children how to put them into pots. And uh, I will put a pot like this. These can grow pretty big. So I have a few pots like this and uh, we will water them in then as well. So we'll just make a little, make a, a cavity there, a nice, a nice hole like this in it because you want the roots to help the roots spread out. So. We'll put the, the sweet basil in first, the Genovese basil, and we'll push it in like that. And we won't need to worry too much. We will pluck out the growing shoot then after a while. When it grows up a bit then, we're going to give this, don't put it straight in the sun, give it a little bit of a rest first, and then put it into the sun. Give it, put, tap it in nice, make sure there's no air in it, and then water it in. Uh, the, I have one out uh, the front there that I've done the very same. It'll take a few days for it to get settled. Put in this one. Oh, lovely smell of lemon off that. Make sure the roots go down. I will put them in semi semi shade for now, and then after a couple of days, I will give them full sun. So, so then I will just gently water them in like this. This is uh, my actually my daughter's. I bought her this when she was about, I think she was three or two years old. We bought her own watering can, and. Uh, she will water them, you put them in a place that she will be able to go and water them. So that's uh, our, uh, my uh, sh video on growing basils uh, from, from propagating in water for, to show your children how to do it. I will do some more videos then on, on simpler, other simple things for to teach your children to grow uh, some seeds. In maybe the next episode I will uh, some of the easier plants for your children to grow. And thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos here on Grow and Glow, uh, please subscribe.